Hello everyone and welcome to another Geometry Dash video, and in this video I'm going to be talking about possibly the most hated level in all of Geometry Dash for no real reason. We are of course talking about Buff This by Boy of the Cones. So this video will be sort of like a rant, but I'll be reviewing the level and talking about why this level got so much hate. And I'm aware C1997 made a video on the same topic, but I'm not stealing for him, or at least not trying to. Also, all gameplay is by Boy of the Cones himself, so let's get started. Might as well make a series called Tracks from Hell, because this is going to lock you up in a cell. So you might be wondering, why does Buff This exist in the first place? What motivated Boy of the Cones to make this level? Well, you could say that Boy of the Cones and Robtop have quite a strong connection in the community. Rob goes onto his streams a lot, and he even gave Coneboy a mod, for no real reason. Anyways though, Coneboy asked Robtop if he should make a level that's all straight flying, and Robtop replied saying that it would have to require an awesome style, then he'd maybe rate it. Emphasis on maybe. So he asked two of his friends Texo2 and Castrix to build the level for him, and what we got was a well-decorated level with horrible gameplay, which was of course made by Coneboy. In the end though, the whole level had 62,000 objects, and it took 5,000 attempts for Coneboy to verify. Not much else about how the level was made, so let's actually review the level. You have to stretch your videos for extra ad revenue. Man, that's just not cool, have you ever knew? So reviewing the level is quite hard since it's a joke level that shouldn't be taken seriously by anyone. So as I said, the gameplay is pure cancer, and it's also based off of straight flying. Now, straight flying is hated in Geometry Dash because the only way to actually get good at the skill is to get a 144Hz monitor so you can actually see things more clearly, and it makes the game more accurate to your input. So straight flying at this level is a huge screw you to people who have 60Hz monitors, like me. It's not like I'm going to beat this anytime though, because I suck. I was actually curious how much straight flying there was in this level, not counting the orb parts, and I got 35 seconds. 35 seconds out of a 1 minute level, now that's insane. The parts that weren't straight flying were quad spikes, jitter clicking, and chip orbs. You know, the most cancerous gameplay possible. And to be honest, out of every rated level I've played in 3 years, this has to have the worst gameplay out of any rated level. Even the triple trial is better, because at least it isn't straight flying. Now, the design's a bit different. The first part has a unique block design, but a lot of it is copy and pasted, and it's heavily focused on a glow theme, kinda like Darwin's levels. The design is definitely polished, as everything from the blocks to the spikes to the gears have lots of detail. The second part, which was decorated by Tex, is less detailed though. It still has a glow, but there's less of everything, it just looks too simple. But that doesn't matter when everyone's just cringing on how bad the gameplay is anyways. Finally, it took a while to verify. Coneboy said that it was an extreme demon, and I mean, it is an extreme demon if you're on 60Hz, but it took Coneboy 5,000 attempts. That's a lot of time trying to be a joke level, and once he did beat the level, it seemed really satisfying. Yes! Personally, I think that was an overreaction, but I'm not sure. So, overall, there was effort put into the level. Coneboy didn't decorate it, but that doesn't mean his friends Castrix and Tex didn't put effort into the level, and it also took a long time for Coneboy to verify. C1997, your content's really bad. I don't know why you're relevant, you're honestly just a fad. The main reason why this level got hate is simple, because it was made and verified by Boy of the Cones. Boy of the Cones was always a hated player in the community, ever since early 2.0 when he made the crappy level Catabath. It was basically just a bunch of stolen decorations from Cataclysm and Bloodbath to make one garbage level, which actually got rated but later got unrated. So that's one reason why Coneboy is hated, but another reason why is once after that got unrated, he lied to everyone that he got moderator, which was of course faked, and people found out. And ever since that, Boy of the Cones was a hated player. So of course, if Coneboy made a joke level, then people would hate on it. I remember a while back Rustam, a talented art creator, made a joke level called Russia on Track, which was literally back on track to where he just moved all the spikes upwards. It was of course a joke, but it got featured, but no one cared because they already knew Rustam was actually a good creator. On the other hand, people hate buff this because it was made by Boy of the Cones. And remember, this was done a long time ago. Ever since that time he was faking mod and generally being a jerk in the community, he learned how to be a good player and even verified a sequel to Catabath, which was an insane demon. Let's have a talk about the Legend series. It's nearly as bad as the GD theories. Later on, especially after the level got raided by Robtop, this level gained more and more hate. Now it's accumulated over 800 dislikes, more than my Despacito layout, which says a lot. But this really shows how toxic the GD community can be sometimes. Like I said, Boy of the Cones was already a hated player, so he was an easy target for people to hate on. And when people saw the haters of Boy of the Cones and a bunch of mindless idiots started hating as well, giving Coneboy death threats. A few people even threatened to quit GD if this wasn't raided, including Luckwiser, who is the best 60Hz player, but it got raided and he hasn't quit. So, I don't really know what's going on with that. People went out of their way to hate on Buff This by hating on the creators, Texo2 and Castrix, which is completely ridiculous. Literally all they did was do a thorough job on decorating Coneboy's level, nothing else. So people are literally hating on the level for no reason just to join the bandwagon. All of Coneboy's haters are just kids that are just like, 
Oh my god, buff this got raided. Go kill yourself, homeboy. And it's really freaking stupid. People are also arguing over the fact that there are a lot of unknown creators who deserve their levels to be raided, which to some extent is true. There are a lot of unknown creators out there, but for the most part, I think the unknown creators argument doesn't apply to buff this because this problem is definitely becoming less serious. There are lots of active mods out there that scout unknown levels and send them to Robtop. If you really want your level to get featured, I have two words for you. Get good. The last thing I want to talk about was this comment. Emphasis on this this getting rid is the equivalent of a straight fly challenge level getting featured, which to some extent, it is a one minute straight fly challenge. This guy is a level thanks to his friends. But again, just remember, this level is a joke. Let's all admit, my bars are pretty litty, and that's because of the fact that England is my city. In conclusion, is buff this a bad level? Yes, it is pure garbage, but at the end of the day, it took a lot of effort for his friends to decorate and Comeboy to verify. All he got from that was one creator point anyways, yet people are still making a big deal out of it because they see Comeboy as an easy target. He isn't liked enough by the community to make a joke level like buff this. Also, there's a good chance that Comeboy may see this video. So, Boy of the Cones, if you're watching this, I feel really bad for you. You don't deserve any of this hate, and neither do your friends who decorated it. Yes, the level may suck, and yes, you may have done some stuff like fake mod status, but that doesn't mean that an army of kids should attack you in the video and give you death threats and basically be the most toxic we've ever seen in the community. Just stop this pointless drama and we won't have to worry about something actually serious happening, like what we saw with Triaxis back in early 2.0. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this review slash rant video. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, and as always, this is GD Floroni signing out.